Tyler, it is comic book time, ladies and gentlemen. It is comic book time. Comic book time in the story. So we are um, wrapping up. Wrapping up. Our Punisher coverage. Punisher coverage. Number 12. Wrapping up number 12 from Jason Aaron. Jesus Saiz, Paul Azikita. So uh, and who's the other guy? Uh, is it Chris Hollingsworth? I think so. Well, why don't you look at the first? Why don't I turn the page? Turn the page. Matt Hollingsworth. I knew it. I apologize, Matt. Maybe I should have turned the page. Mm-hmm. Maybe I was thinking of Chris uh, Collinsworth. Here's a guy who colors. Um. <laughs> Look at the guy. Look at him toe tap right there. That's oh, the mark of a pro. that's a heck of a color. Look at those reds. I've never seen <laughs> such a vibrant they just, A crew. They just pop. Wow. Um, so wow. Actually, I, want, I do want to give credit to Matt, though. The colors are great. Yeah. Uh, it's because yeah, he's inking, right? Yeah, he's colors. Colors. The bo- oh, dude, the art across the board. All of it's great. I love the fact that... Uh, a lot of big dick I've said it this whole time covering the series. It's always great seeing Azakita's stuff because I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's the one who does the flashbacks and the Zayus uh, or Jesus Zayus's work in the present. I think so. so at the end of this, it, we're picking up where we left off where the bullet holes are in Frank and he's bleeding out. Mm-hmm. And the priestess shows up, and she's just like, I fucking, I thought I, I should have known. I really thought I could get you. So she's just like, yeah, at the end of the day, you're still human, and you're still not meant to be. But I gave you everything. Yeah, pretty much. Because she's time. like, I worked for so long to pave the way for your gore-filled transcendence so provide everything, or to provide everything you would ever need to reach your true murderous potential at great effort and personal sacrifice. I gave you everything, Frank. And then she's like, yeah, everything. And she like has the monster-looking face. And then she kind of points the gun at him too and then he fights his way out because he still has some of the power of the beast and he like spits fire on her right yeah. right and like burns her and throws her out of the thing and she's like ah! and, and Dr. Dr. Strange shows yeah. up so then Dr. Strange and the Marvel heroes Captain America Moon Knight Wolverine Black Widow uh, all show up and then uh, we get a flashback again this time, which, by the way, 12th issue of this book, and this is the first time it's a flashback is told from Frank's perspective. Yep. At the end of the miniseries. It's fucking crazy. So it shows him at the end of, uh, so this flashback with uh, Frank's perspective after the funeral, and he shows up at this mob bar, and they're like, how did you get in here? You're not supposed to be in here. You look like you're going to a funeral, and he's like, I just came from one. And so he looks at the mob family that put out the hit and just takes out his guns and just shoots the shit out of all these He says something really funny. Hang on. Um, They're they're talking to him and stuff, and uh, he's like, you're talking about... you're talking about the mafia. This is a mob bar frequented by soldiers and capos of the Cesar Crane family. <clears throat> read about it in the Daily Bugle. What'd you say there, pal? Fat Max's is a bar for murderers and scumbags only. A, ball, a bar full of people who don't deserve to live. Exactly the kind of place I was looking for. <laughs> Listen to this guy, huh? Moron just sounds determined to give us a fun night, eh, boys? And he, he just like, like... Yeah, and then he just he, shoots the shit out of these blows dudes. blows them away. It's a full-page splash of him just shooting shoot, all these monsters. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And that's kind of like the first... Frank's for the birth of the Punisher, yeah. essentially. Um, which again, it, it reminds you so much of like it's it's. I take away the like the politics and the chattiness of it, and just I could I could truly understand how fans of the Punisher could be upset with this, but I really want you to understand what this story has always been trying to do from issue one all mm. all all the way through, in a sense of like. No matter how you try and justify it, Frank killing other people in vengeance for his family is not good. 
No, it Vigilante should, Justice. Vengeance is never the answer. How many movies have we seen? You think Vengeance will make you feel good and bring you justice, but it's only going to keep the cycle of pain. Yeah. And it's like, that is why every Punisher book ends up like that. Because we, how many times have we said it where, like, he could have, say, say whatever, he goes to that bar, he shoots up all those guys, it's still wrong, he killed all those people, but fine. He got his. He gets his vengeance. Yeah. But why does he keep doing it? He could have stopped, but he kept going because he has this belief that the cops are not doing enough and they're terrible and nobody does enough. I have to kill these people. I have to take the law in my own hands. You Who don't the get fuck the, says? You don't get the right to Who be the, the, fuck the, says? the judge, jury, and You tried to shoot Spider-Man, you dickhole. And that's another thing. The fuck? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. He was introduced to the Marvel Universe as a villain. Yeah. He's still a bad guy. Yeah. You could still make him a bad guy. Yeah. Um, I loved uh, his conversation with Doctor Strange is pretty cool. Doctor Strange really is kind of a scene stealer in this book. Well, yeah. Because he's... Because uh, Aaron was writing uh, yeah. Strange at the time. Okay. So that's why he he's... Got like, but yeah, he's he definitely kinda, like he's so a badass in this in book. This. Oh yeah, he's a badass. So yeah, he pulls out the bullets uh, from the gun. And he's like, I don't know what the hell these things are made of. I haven't really seen this before. And that's of course because the bullets were the shattered daggers. He used them and forged mm-hmm. them into bullets, mm-hmm. and he pulled them out and kind of showed them to him. Just kind of like present, just kind of like a baller move to like present them to him, be like. Here, here's these. Like here's all here's that easy, here's all that you have left. And he keeps them because again, like he said in the last issue, like this shit takes a toll, and you didn't think about what you were doing in your little self righteous mission, using all this magic. Where you were like, I'm gonna end war, but it was never about ending war. It was about ending your war. What did that mean? I meant killing Ares and then killing all these people, and then just being like, All right, I'm done. No, no repercussions. Yeah, and Wolverine shows up. Um, so it's important to note the bullets are there. Yeah, he so keeps, he keeps them he in keeps his hand. He keeps the bullets in his hand. Yep. Uh, so then, yeah, Wolverine shows up, <laughs> and um, my they know that locking me in a cell uh, has never seemed to hold. Say it. Killing me would do the trick. Admit you screwed up big time. Give me a reason. This is Wolverine. Yeah. Give me a reason not to kill you, Frank. And he's like, you do me, you better do yourself next, bub. And that's so great because, again, that's throwing it back at Wolverine and being like, hey, you killed people too, dickhead. Like, <laughs> Wolverine just throws him. Yeah, Wolverine just throws him. He's pissed. Yeah. And Frank and Logan have never liked each other. Um, uh, Black Widow's next. Black Widow shows up and is just being like, you know, she just says. I love how there's like this final issue is just like a trial by his peers of Frank Castle after all this. And she's just like. You know, maybe you can just end this now and, and, and just it'll be over and kind of take take care of it. But um, he says, you pick up a 12-gauge tactical shotgun and use it to turn a man's face into a stain on the wall. Man who wants to see you dead, that doesn't make the shotgun your buddy. It makes it a weapon. Somehow its use is same as you and me. That's our relationship, Black Widow. So she's like trying to talk him down. He's like, we're not friends. Every, every interaction he has, he's like, I'm not friends with you people. Like, Frank is giving up too. He's like, I, it's like I, it doesn't, like, Frank knows he's like, I'm dead. Like, it, at the at the worst, or at the very least, you're going to kill me. And that's not even the worst thing you could do. Maybe you torment me in hell with Mephisto or something. But Moon Knight, I think, is, is the best because he's, Frank pretty much is like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. And he's just like, hey, um, I know what it was like to go crazy serving a god i still serve a fucking god you know and um thank you for this talk he's like he's just like what made you do it you know that's pretty much what it was and he's like was it shell shock from war that was driving you or no was it something deeper wasn't it uh yeah okay i see it now something that happened when you were young something that convinced you that in early age that this is who you are you're the punisher and then like he kind of dissects it a little bit of like Oh, you've always kind of been this way. You, this is just always who you've been. Yeah. And then we get a flashback of the crime family, and this is the Punisher showing up. Well, the up. one who the cops got. The one the cops got, and he shows up with the gas and just blows everyone away, and you see him in his classic Punisher look yeah. with the white gloves and the yeah. band. Oh, jeez, puberty, how are you? 
Uh, then the, the, the like bandolier belt teeth, uh, the classic. So then we finally get who we thought would be Captain America, but I also love the fact that Captain America wants nothing to do with him. He's like, "Fuck Frank Castle, fuck the Punisher. He killed all these people. Fuck him." Um, and so it's actually Maria. And then then she kind of lays in what she always wanted to say. Pretty much being like, I wanted to tell you that it was a divorce. I wanted a husband. I wanted you to be there. Not when it was convenient for you, but when I needed you the most. And, like, just kind of unloads what she's always wanted to say. And um, it really just says, as for you, when you disappear. Or like, so she says, like, oh, yeah, I survived not being at the compound. <coughs> I also took all your money that you had, Black well, Widow. Well, she's talking. She's talking about technically, I'm dead, and so Black Widow like negotiate, like well, mess with the finances. So all of his, like half of all of his money went to Maria, and then the well, other half went to charities. Well, Fr- Frank is you know safe houses all over New York City, where he and, stacks a bunch of cash that he steals from these crime right. But the real estate, she says, like the real estate alone is going to fetch me whatever you know. Like I and my baby are going to be very taken, well taken care of, and we're never going to see. Well, you we don't again. know that. Yet. She says it right here. She says it during this whole thing. Oh, does she? Yes. And then she leaves for good. I don't know if she says it because the reveal is later that she has a pregnancy test. Yeah. But uh, anyway, point is, yeah, she she just pretty much lays it in like, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, I I know about all that money that you had stashed away at those safe houses, and I took half of it. Um. In our kids' names. And I, and then I took the other half and put it in our kids' names and gave it to charities because that's how you honor a family name. Not going on this murder spree and killing all these people. Regardless of if in the grand scheme of things, yeah, they're shitty people and they could have deserved it because they did horrible things, but that's not for you to yeah, decide. You're not God. You're not judged. Jury that's decided in a court of law by, by our peers. That's how it is. Even when our peers are very stupid. Yes. We're bought off. And and again, it's just like, and then it, it gets to the point where she says, where she leaves him with, as for you, when you disappear down whatever abyss they're about to hurl you into, do us a stay favor there. and stay dead. Yeah. Fuck face. And then it says, this story is not of a war. This is a story of a boy on a roof, a family in the park, a fist of the beast. The story of a punisher who has no regrets and a husband, a father, a man. And as he's saying all this, he's taking the he punches the ground with the bullets from that was inside of him trying to conjure up the last bit of magic that he can mm-hmm. from the beast. And he has who has more than he could ever hope to bear. This is a story of a war, my war, and how it ended. So he's cr- trying to still kind of craft his way out. Captain America and the others are arguing about how to deal with Frank because it's like, well, we got to kill him, but it's like, how does that make us better than him? And where do we do with him? Do we put him in a magical place or whatever? Also, before this, didn't we mention last time or before that uh, Doctor Strange mentions Weird World? Because he mentions they're in the basement of the Sanctum yeah. Sanctorum. And he's like, if you open the wrong door, you're going to end up in fucking Weird World or something yeah, like that. I, I still get lost. So as he's saying that, uh, that's po- something that gets po- pointed out. And we find out that, like, oh, Frank remembered Weird World. So he just says, hey, regardless, save it. I don't know what you're going to choose for me, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to be good enough. I'm going to just take care of this. Yeah. And just goes, whoof. And this red flame and smoke, he just goes, ah, whoosh. So he conjures the last bit of power he had from the beast to teleport him somewhere. We don't know. And then we go to a cor- uh, uh, another scene in a uh, like a detention center. There's a kid who is who killed his family, we find out, by the priestess. And she's talking to him. Um and she says, and um, she, she said, you killed your parents to plant a trap for police. When they came to arrest you, maiming an impressive number of them, may I inquire as to why you did this? And then the kid says, I don't really know. It was almost like it was what I was born to do. And he wrote, God bless the beast inside a cell. So we see, oh, she presents him with the daggers. And it's her recruiting another and that's person. That's another, yep. 
And then we get a flashback. We see, we see her driving off with we the get a, bags of cash. We get driving off with her cash. And then she's pregnant. She's pregnant. And I cracked a smile when I read that because I'm like, good for her. She gets a fucking second chance at being a mom. That's fucking awesome. Without Frank, that bitch. In the final flashback. And then the final flashback is how you see the priestess uh, bring in Maria and seduce Frank to join the hand. And then it's a full page ending to this that I'm not, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, but it just it's it's Jason Aaron kind of Can breaking I down why he really wrote quick? this. Um, is that after this? Yeah, there's a post credits. Gotcha. There's like a little epilogue gotcha. thing. Gotcha. Uh, so he just kind of lays it out of what it what this story meant uh, meant to him, and I urge you to read it. I don't want to read. Yeah, it. I don't I'm not going to read. read no, it, I'm not going to read but it. You should um, find it and read it. Yeah. Um, it perfectly explains. But it just says this has been the the thing that I took out of it a lot was this has been the story of a war and this has been the story of the dissolution of a family. Yep. And um, such a book, man. It it's such a book. And I can understand how some people like outside of the like I said the woke. You know. Are we gonna do the postscript? Oh yeah, there's an epilogue scene after that. No, this is my favorite because it's. You know, Weird World Journal, day five. Um, he's talking about just war going on all all over the and place. Weird World is something that Jason Aaron created in his Doctor Strange run, and, mm-hmm. and yeah, so like, of course he names drops it. So it's like, oh, that like Frank Castle's like he said Weird World. I guess I'll just go there and live there now. Yeah. Like that's my punishment. Is I get to live because on Weird not World. What my, my war, not anymore. Yeah. Frank, call me Frank. And he all Don't he's call doing him now. Punisher and he's wearing the all new he's logo. doing now is just. Getting these kids safe. That's all he cares about now is just keeping these kids safe. He's actually trying to be a hero. A hero for a change. What a great fucking ending. And that's it. Punisher by Jason Aaron. Maria gets Jay- what she wants. She Jesus gets- Aiz, Paul Azekita. Ma- uh, uh, Maria gets what she wants. She gets to have a second chance at being a mom. Uh, Frank gets his chance of fighting in this distant place where he can't hurt people and... and- his world and he's in this different dimension and he's dealing with that and it's a just a, you know what i think it is it's a way of a jason aaron to coming being like oh i can come back to it we've already seen him do batman off world so i wouldn't be surprised if we do punisher weird weird world is like <laughs> the title you know what i'll fucking read it because it'll wow. probably be good wow because this book kicked ass wow this book was fantastic i loved every single issue i was never at any point did I feel like there was a down issue in that 12 issue run? It was truly remarkable of like how beautiful, like how well written a tragedy can be and how well a Punisher story could be. To me, honestly, I feel like this could be the end all be all Punisher books. Like, I don't feel like I need to read another Punisher book. Even if, even. Maybe I'd give Punisher Weird World a try. I know there's going to be other... They've already did a different Punisher. People didn't like it. I think it got canceled pretty quick. But They've had like a couple of different Punishers. One was well, a they, lady cop. Yeah. And they, you know... And I then don't, he was from heaven. I don't know. I, again, I'm sure they're going to bring back Frank at some point and whatnot. Well, but, look. What does he end up as? Is it the Cosmic Ghost Rider, right? Uh, yeah. Eventually? Co- Coates made him the Cosmic Ghost Rider at one point. Yeah. Kate's. Or Kate's, I mean. So that's it. But yeah, I, I really loved it. Um, the artwork, writing, everything about it was stellar. Uh, the, from the moment I picked it up till the moment I'd put it down. I was, I was impressed. I was singing its praises. I was impressed. Um, and uh, I really like that they made it a story related change to his symbol. You know what I mean? They yeah. weren't just like, well, we just don't want to do that symbol anymore. This is just something we made up. No, this is the mark of the beast. And it works. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, it works really well. So yay! What's if you next? like, if you think Frank Castle's the good guy, you must be out of your goddamn mind. Up and lost, up and with Jake and Tyler. 